Hi, my name is Julia, and today we are going to be making fish prints, or what the Japanese call gyutaku. Here is an example of a fish print that I made earlier today, and today I will show you how we'll make that. First, let's review the materials that you'll need to complete this activity. The first thing that you'll need for the project is a fish. Small, flatter fish are better. This is a perch, which I obtained from my local fish market. You also want to make sure that the fish has good scales that you can really feel. These are big scales that will make a good print. Also, what you'll need are a good stack of um, old newspapers to absorb any moisture that may come from them. Then, you'll need a water-soluble printing ink. This is something that you can obtain from your local art supply store. I have a glass plate that I've put it out onto, but you could very easily squeeze some out into an old yogurt cup or put onto another plate. I have also some plasticine clay here that we'll use to raise up the, the fish fins. You can obtain this from a local art supply store as well. You don't need to use it, um, but it might help the process. And then I've got some just fabric straight pins here that I used to splay out the fish fins a little bit to, to stretch them into place. You also need some stiff bristle brushes. You can also get those from your local um, art supply store or hardware store. And then finally, you'll need a good supply of paper towels to make sure to keep the fish clean and dry while you work. And you will also need a piece of paper on which to print. This is a Japanese paper, it's a rice paper, it's very thin and lightweight. That would make a good printing paper. You could also use thin fabric as well to print upon. So the first step is to prepare your fish. I cleaned this off with dish detergent and water in the sink. Then you have to make sure it's very dry. So the washing process gets off any mucus or other materials that would prevent the fish from taking the ink and making a good print. Then you need to, to dry it off after that. That's where the paper towels come in handy. The next step is to splay out the fins. And this is where you might want to use the plasticine clay and um, sewing pins. The next step is to squeeze out and prepare your printing ink. Then, you'll use the printing ink to brush along the fish. It's best to apply the printing ink as thinly as possible, but the next step, you will definitely want to blot up what you've already applied to the fish. And just picking up some of it with a paper towel. Since the pins are in the way of the print, the next step for me is to remove them but I'll leave the clay in place. And when I print, I want to make sure that the fins stay out so that I get them in the print. So you want to make sure that the printing surface is free of ink except for on the fish so that when you lay the paper down, it doesn't pick up any pieces that you don't want. And now you're ready to print. So I'm gonna pick up my paper 
and lay it down upon the fish and I can center it straight on or I can angle it so that he looks like he might be swimming perhaps. You can think about that. That's your choice. Lay it down and I go ahead and press at the highest point of the fish and try and keep one hand there and then start to rub the paper. And I, I use the word gyutaku, which is the Japanese word for making a fish print. And that means fish rubbing, literally. So you want to make sure that the paper doesn't move while you are rubbing along the fish. Then, after you've finished rubbing the fish, you'll want to remove the paper carefully. There's an example of a fish print. You can see the scales there, but I could have pressed harder on the fins.